Good evening. Thank you all for joining us for our monthly meeting of the ASCA Board of Directors. Today is Thursday, September 19th. In attendance tonight, we have our Executive Secretary, Kala Jaco, our First Vice, Rick Gann, Second Vice, Donna Sims, our Treasurer, Jody McClellan, our Secretary, Ann McCabe, Directors, Jillian Ward, Jerry Scheidt, and incoming Board of Directors members, Tanya Johnson and Diana Williams. And at this time, I'm gonna offer the floor over to Jody so that she may give the financials. Thanks, Susan. Um, as mentioned, this will be kind of a, a quick report. Just wanted to give you an update on the balances. Our checking account is currently $128,866. ASCA savings is $49,453. The AEMD savings is $10,386. The foundation account is $42,522. We've made some transfers over the past month to our Vanguard accounts. Their current balances, our savings account is $100,310. And our AEMD account is $10,007. We did attempt to move over $40,000 of our foundation funds to Vanguard to be earning interest. For some reason, Chase um, um, canceled that transfer and Sarah is currently working with Chase to figure out why that happened. We'll have to uh, reapply with Vanguard to open that link. And so we're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen again so that we can start earning some interest on the foundation account. Um, the checking account is a little lower than um, we normally see it just because the final fees came in and were transferred over to nationals. Uh, we also moved an additional 7175 of AEMD to savings. And then uh, we will take uh, 10,000 from the AEMD and move it over to Vanguard uh, next week to start earning additional interest. Um, Sarah, let me know that um, the postage machine is up for renewal. She did receive several quotes and she has chosen to go with a smaller option slash smaller machine. Uh, it has most of the same features as our current um, machine, but will come in at $990 per quarter compared to $1,428 per quarter. So she has decided to make that change, saving us a little over $400. Um, I really don't have anything else to report except that, Diana, you asked me last month about the monthly charges. Yes. that were associated with our checking account. And I wanted to let you know that there is a $50 fee each month for the check deposit machine that we have in the office. So they are allowed to use that machine to make deposits directly to Chase versus having to go to the branch office. And so that, that costs us $50 per month to do so. Um, also, the additional charges vary each month above that $50, and they come in with ACA charges of about of $250 per charge. And then sometimes we have a limit of three wires. If we go over that, we will char be charged for wires, and that is what makes up our monthly fee. Got it. Thank you, Jody, for finding that out. You bet. And it was... I. Didn't know about the machine costing us $50, so that was helpful as well. Um, everybody received uh, copies of the P&L, the balance sheets. Did anybody have any questions uh, and or on the budget? Okay, then that is my report. <coughs> <coughs> I would like to make a motion to approve the treasurer's report as presented. I will second. This is Donna. Donna has a second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor to approve the treasurer's report as presented. All those in. Aye. Any? Okay. Aye. Perfect. Aye. All those in favor. Any opposed? 
Any abstentions? Aye. Thank you, Jody. Okay, treasurer's report is approved as submitted. Thank you so much. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the system liaisons report. However, Mr. Clayton has not joined our meeting tonight. So we will go ahead and suspend that item. And um, if we get anything via email, we will be certain to share that. Thank you all so much. Moving right along to the next item on the agenda is the Nationals Premium for 2025. Jillian, this is you. Okay, so the, um, I don't know if you guys saw that there has been an update uh, to the premium effective, could be day before yesterday. Now I'm getting my days um, mixed up. The just to let you know that um, the the areas on the premium in white have been reviewed by the committee chairs. The yellow portion, um, they are. She is still the chair is still waiting. The show chair is still waiting for updates. Um, I have a topic that I need to bring up. Uh, on behalf of the chair and co-chair as it relates to the premium. But I wanted to ask first, does anyone have any questions about what has been submitted thus far? And my second question is, Calla, when is the second pass the next draft due? Uh, November 15th. Okay, so does anybody have any questions now uh, regarding what is already been submitted? Okay, and uh, just for the record, Anne had offered to review the premium and the chair uh, agreed, but she would like to do it after the next pass. So in other words, once all the chairs have time to weigh in. I will tell you, it's my observation that the timing of this is terrible because you have a lot of the chairs uh, for 2025 are working on 2024 and it may not be the same job, but the timing of this is really hard to try and get them off of their 2024 focus onto the 2025 focus just to have the board review something that is infantile in its infantile stages so <clears throat> if we as a board think it's important to have it on this timeline then great if not maybe we might want to suggest to the NAC to try and have this not conflict with the timeline of the existing national um so that's just food for thought um on page 12 of the premium I'm going to read this to you. It says conduct of attendees. This is part of the national premium. ASCA has the right to reprimand or suspend any person or persons from any or all privileges of ASCA for conduct prejudicial to the best interests of the Australian Shepherd, ASCA events, or ASCA. Exhibitors are to maintain the highest level of sportsmanship and are to conduct themselves accordingly. This includes behavior on social media. <clears throat> Foul or abusive language, yelling at exhibitors, judges, or volunteers, disorderly conduct, and or poor sportsmanship will not be allowed and shall be disciplined in accordance with ASCA's conflict resolution protocol. ASCA reserves the right to remove anyone from the premises who is felt to be causing disruption or prevent anyone from attending who is felt to be causing disruption. I got a phone call. <clears throat> from I won't say which position because I'll be saying who it is then either the chair or the co-chair for 2025 um the conduct of those on Facebook on the 2024 national page has been devastating to many of our existing volunteers which I happen to be the liaison for as well but that is not the group who brought it to my attention. 
The question from 2025 is, how are we going to manage this Facebook page for 2025 moving forward? Because the behavior on the 2024 page has been really tough for the members. Um, I spoke to Kala a little bit about it. I spoke to the 2024 committee and said, we need to position ourselves, ASCA better when we are disseminating information. As an example, an easy example, when you make a post as say the merchandise chair, include the link to the merchant, the online merchandise so that people can easily find it. Another example, when you make a post regarding say RVs uh, and you know how they're going to be say parked or something, we need to do our due diligence when we are disseminating, disseminating the information to the membership by including the segment of the premium that delineates out how it's going to be handled. I spoke to Kala about how we might be able to use our Facebook albums uh, to our advantage. So we'll have an album that says, say, vendors and stalls, or one that says um, merchandise, so that people who aren't reading the premium can and are on Facebook, they can go to the albums and then we can come up with some protocol on how to you know, try to manage the page from our side. But the question uh, that the 2025 committee has for the board is, how does the board intend to manage the ill-mannered members that in some cases are not going to the national, so this segment of the premium doesn't apply to them? Or how does the board intend to handle people that are on the page that are not ASCA members? So these are these are very hardworking people who are volunteering and they've taken on these roles. And as we know, they're not getting compensated. Um, and so I was asked to bring this to the board and I'm glad it's an open session because I hope all those that are listening are hearing it too, that this is weighing on people and people are not wanting to volunteer anymore for future years. So I'm gonna turn it over to Susan to ask everyone if they have some input, but we we as a board, this is an, an ASCA owned event and we as the board need to do something to assure our committee volunteers year in and year out that we have their back. Thanks, Julian. Okay, so um, let's just go around and see what suggestions that you may have. I have one, but I will hold my comments until the end. Rick? Uh, yeah, this is kind of a... I mean, we censor everything else that the members have. I mean, I guess you could just continue and put this on there as well because uh, we're already censoring the membership and not allowing them to talk. Uh, I don't know that. I don't know how you address something like that. Uh, either you feed them information and you don't allow them to comment, or you allow this to go on. So that's kind of where we're at. So that's all I got. Thank you, Donna. Donna. Sorry. <laughs> I sorry. couldn't get my phone to go to the button so I could talk. Um, so, like, we, you don't want to have to, you know, censor things, but you can't allow we can't allow people to go on there and be so awful to our workers. I think Phil's right. I think that we need to, I don't know what the answer is, but I think we need to figure out something. Uh, we've got to have their back. Like these people work very, very hard. They, they commit an insane amount of hours to this event. Um, people who aren't happy with, 
how things are done should step up and, and fix things and make them the way they want them to be. But the people who are doing all of this work shouldn't certainly should not have to deal with all of the ugliness and all of the negativity. Um, I think it's very discouraging when you're working so hard um, for for nothing, just for the love of ASCA and for the love of, of nationals um, to have all the negativity. So I'm not sure what the answer is, but I definitely think we should put our heads to it and come up with some solution to help with this. Okay, great. Thank you. Anne? Um, I, um, I am on Facebook a lot. I admit it. <laughs> and, um, I've also been on three nationals committees and, um, have been on the board for almost three years now. And, um, this year I have, um, kind of, uh, ab abstained a lot from making comments in the Facebook group because early on my comments were not wanted. Um, but the fact that I have experience and um, that I have been involved in many nationals, um, I think maybe the board members should be given more leeway um, in helping um, to direct the group um, that I think as much as possible um, to be supportive, to counter the, oh, well, this doesn't have this. I'm like, so to be given the opportunity to make our presence known as a supportive voice for the volunteers to counter the naysayers. Um, <clears throat> will it just be me? I don't know. I'm happy to do it. Um, and we have administrators of the page and then just like any other page, um, it's a group, people join it, but if you get really nasty, then just like any other group, I maybe mean, it was my personal group that I manage. You get warnings, then you're out. So I think we should um, yeah. both all of the volunteers and the board um, should be more proactive in countering and supporting each other. And it, it takes a while for that to happen this year and I wish it was more immediate. So I am all for and will certainly help and volunteer the best I can to do that because um, I understand what they're going through. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you, Ann. Um, Jill, I'll come back to you at the end if that's okay. Jan. Um, I kind of came into this in the middle. Um, I agree with everybody that we really need to find some solutions for better communication and protection of the committee. Thanks. Thank you. Jerry. Yes, we do need to, I think, critique those derogatory remarks. Um, they have lasting effects on the people that are volunteering a lot of their time to make it a successful nationals. And I think if you walk into several business is they now have signs up that say if you get belligerent and you're disrespectful and that continues they are done waiting on them they are done serving them so I think it just needs to be a reminder that you can ask the questions but it does need to be in a respectful manner Thanks, Jerry. So I would agree with that. And that was really the crux of my comment as well. Um, we need to protect our folks that definitely will fall on the role of the moderator 
And I'm not opposed to having some of those messages that are messages that are so derogatory taken down and removed. And I believe that that is the role of the moderator. I don't believe that we're censoring them in any way. When those posts are attacking, then, you know, I'm sorry, you need to deal with respect, deal respectfully with everyone. And then everybody can play nice in the sand pit. If you can't play nice, then you definitely need to go ahead and take your toys and go home. Um, let's get our new uh, incoming directors, Tanya. Um, yes. So can you hear me? Yes. Oh. Okay, good. Um, we're talking about a Facebook page, right? Yes. Okay. So as I understand, we could still moderate that page. I am a mod, uh, one of the admins on a page and you can make it so that not everybody can just post any question and then you just approve the post. So I don't see why we don't do something like that. And then, uh, so yeah, just being able to approve posts. And then I also wanted to say, giving the people the ability to close the comments when they've had enough of a feedback on a situation. That's all. Thank you so much, Diana. Um, I agree, we need to moderate that group page in some sort or some way, maybe post some rules about expected behaviors and norm you know and, and the way to act on the group page be respectful it got pretty rude this year and it got pretty nasty and i actually felt pretty bad and i think Calla stepped in and took a couple things down or maybe it was off the nationals page i don't remember but um it needs to be moderated i agree with that people need to be more polite they've not i understand how passionate they are they're going to their nationals and they're passionate about it but they they let it go too far this year and we have volunteers and I've been on several nationals um, committees myself and it's it's hard work it's a lot of time it's there's no pay <laughs> we just we love our Aussies and want to do it for everyone so everybody needs to play nice in the sandbox <laughs> thanks Diana Okay, Jillian, back to you. Um, would the board entertain uh, some further discussion on this at the national, maybe with some ideas? Uh, I will. I will say, Tanya, that the Facebook page has been um, moderated to that degree in the past, and and it upset the membership. So then we gave them you know, the liberties of commenting and the feedback that I'm getting from actually both this year <clears throat> and some of the people are on next, both years, 2025, is that this, this page is really meant for the chairs to be able to put out information to the membership. And it's kind of turned into a bit of a social platform. And we don't want to discourage people from being social, but at the same time, things are getting lost and so you can't find the information that you're looking for. So maybe, maybe there's a hybrid, but I think the most important thing is if we're going to look at any type of moderating of, in addition to what the moderator, the person already, it's Cala's job currently to scrub it. Uh, we need to communicate what the plan is to the membership. So they understand um i i don't agree that it's censorship when when you are rude uh and disrespectful to employees that's not tolerated in any workplace and whether we like it or not we're not getting paid but this is a workplace and the facebook page is a workplace event page and so we we do need to uh, find a way to be able to get the info out to the membership and still support and respect our volunteers. And by the way, I want to say that I think the ratio of um, people with 
poor Facebook man manners is very, very small compared to our general overall membership. So it's it's not everyone, but the the balance, the majority of the people are the ones who suffer. So we've got we've got to figure something out. So I'm hoping that the board will entertain further discussion at the national. Um, so maybe we can agree, come to an agreement on what is acceptable and then roll it out to the membership for input. Jerry. I think it's important to recognize and probably state that the National's Facebook page is not a page to put on your rants about what you're upset about. There are email addresses to send those people that are chairs that are handling those positions questions. It is helpful that one question gets on the Facebook page is asked and is answered and satisfies a lot of other people's um, questions with that. However, the Facebook page is to be informational and constructive, not for rants. Great verbiage there, Jerry. Thank you so much. Um, so Jillian, I think maybe a face-to-face -face at nationals might be a good plan. And if we come together with some ideas before we go ahead and submit something as some guidelines. Sounds great. Thanks. Thank you so much. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the 2026 nationals committee job descriptions. Jerry. So I received the um, Nationals 2026 Nationals Committee job descriptions and reviewed them. They are in line with the facility at Island Grove Park in Greeley. At this time, they do the only stalls that there are are over by the stock area. So for grooming, there is actually grooming spaces and not stalls. Some of these uh, positions um, were changed a little bit um, to accommodate that. And I was glad to see that to for doing that. Uh, the one thing though that I did see, and I did not catch it right away before this was sent out, and that was to add the position for a scent detection chair. It's not, it's not on this, uh, these, um, this announcement. But other than that, I don't know if you guys have had a chance to review this announcement for the 2026 Nationals Committee. And if you have any questions. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, has everybody, first of all, is there anyone that has not had a chance to review these proposed? Okay. Jillian has not. Uh, I have not. I mean to call you out. Okay. There are several people that have not had an opportunity to review them fully. Okay. I would like to postpone the motion to approve this announcement until everyone has had an opportunity to do so, to go ahead and review. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, number 10 on our agenda tonight is um, the ratification of the previous month's email business. Would anyone like to put forth a motion to ratify that? This is Jerry. I will make a motion to approve to ratify all business conducted by email since the last meeting. Thank you, Jerry. Can I have a second? Jan, I'll second it. Okay, Jan. Jan, thank I'll you second so. it. Thank you, Jan. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Motion by Jerry, second by Jan to ratify all email business conducted over since our last meeting. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? 
All right. Thank you guys so much. That will conclude the open session of our monthly Ask a Board meeting. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank every one of you who will be listening to this and hope that we will get a chance to see you at the ASCA National Specialty in Grand Island, Nebraska, beginning October 11th. Everyone have safe travels, and we'll look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.